Hi, welcome to AWC. On this video, I will be unboxing my first Holy Grail figure. Oh, so excited. My heart is pumping. I'm a little bit nervous. I found this off Facebook Marketplace at a pretty reasonable price. I did check the My Anime Figure website. <laughs> that kind of fits out there, so hopefully this will be okay. Alright, let's take it out of the box. I set the bubble wrap. Look, the first one. Oh, this is one part of the grail. Because I've designed the box, I probably will just keep it in the box. All right, the main one. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than I imagined for one seventh scale, but here it is. So both of these are Motokuto Kusanaki from Ghost Info Shell. This one is from Standalone Complex, second season, second or second gig, one seventh scale from Alta and Vice. Logo is holographic, so having that means that it is authentic. Mine are Marks and scratches here and there. Shout out to Dream Jefferson 8497 for telling me about this figure. Thank you very much. Without further ado, let's unbox the 17 scale. Open for this, the active blister pad. Comes with an instruction paper. Cut the tag. Fit off the lid and plastic. Take out the top door and gun. This step to stand. Remove it from the plastic. Let's build. I got this gun to hand, slot it in. Finger into the sugar. Attach space to the leg. Three pegs. Hmm, it's not fitting. Let's see. Sugar will translate so to pour hot water of 60 to 70 degrees or 140 to 150 Fahrenheit. Okay, here goes nothing. And the other boot too. I have the paint doesn't peel off. Dry them off. Alright, let's try again. Oh, still pretty stiff. A bit better than before. Oh, one has worked. I'll repeat this three more times, but I only managed to get one of the other boot in. I'll rather not snap the leg on this. We'll have, this will have to do for now. Motoko Kusinagi, standing at 7.9 inches. Let's have a closer look. Good purple finish on the hair. Bit of a stem line around the hair. Thin finishes on the eyes. They look like they're hand painted. Not a bad thing. Good skin tone with a confident expression. Sharp contrast with the jacket and the suit. Chunky super, bulky feel to the gauze and slender fingers. The different dark tones really bring out different shapes. The other hand is holding a matte black gun which really comes out against the dark grey tones of the figure. There's no other shadings. There's a gun holds on the black. with a nice shape and, and feel to it. Some strong line work and elements to differentiate the materials. Great flowing purple hair. A variety of surfaces on the leg to show off the design and the espionage outfit. Put folds and shape to the boot. It's a shame that the feet doesn't sit flush with the base. The clean one line works on the back of the boots. And the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex logo in white on the black glossy base. Let's be in the hard disk version of Motoko for comparison. It is really nice to have a bigger scale of Motoko. The footage is almost so teeny next to the two figures. Comparing with the head, the hard disk does have a sharper finish on the head. More of the manga design. While the anime version does a nice flowing purple hair and smaller eyes. You can really See how much more vibrant the heart expression has with the purple shading from the back it really shows the variety of details they both have really is so good to have the best to hold up the figure even if the attachment sucks the details on the heart is so intriguing this excuse the dust on the figure while the anime scope is very strong and bulky shaped to reflect the outfit a quick display next to the custom standalone complex this will be an awesome item to go with it the color scheme works really well together as well if you have been enjoying the video so far please give it a like now uh, there we have the motoko one seven scale oh. It's really, really light, 0.21 grams. And it's actually a lot smaller than I imagined. But for a figure from 2006, it's really well detailed. They've done a great job on Motoko's face. But attaching the legs to the base was a massive pain. I definitely don't want to do that again. Original release is definitely a very really good value. Super happy to have another Motoko figure in my collection. If you'd like to see more unboxing, please go over here. All right, we'll see you next video, bye.